What's up guys, this is Chetty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about pass by value versus pass by reference. And the concept of a value type and a reference type is, uh, I've covered it in one of my previous videos, but I'll just go ahead and give you a, a very simple 10,000 foot introduction to what a value type is. A value type is usually integers and it looks like this. What you need to know about a value type is that it's stored on the stack and the values are typically simpler. They're not as long lasting. And when you store a value type, it is the number that you actually declare. So value type. And this is important for uh, just understanding. Like I'm just gonna tell you what you need to understand the how to pet you know, what's happening when you're passing by value versus passing by reference. So with a value type, the, the value is actually there. Like, just remember that, like the value, when you store a value type and you store it into this I, like that, I, that two is actually um, there. Like, so, you know, quote unquote, like that two is there. It's not stored in the heap somewhere else and it's not stored by reference when you store something by reference and a reference type is usually more complicated and the value type is always the most simple and i'll explain after i get done with this i'll show you exactly you know passing by value because it's super simple and people make this way more complicated than it really needs to be so a reference type is uh the value is like the way it sounds. It's stored by reference. There's a pointer that says this value is not really here, but if you want to go get it because it's such a large, long lasting object, I'm going to put this on the heap and whenever you need this, you can go get it. So we'll say class and references are always classes. And there's a there's, uh, strings are referent, reference types, arrays are reference types, but for purposes of this video and just kind of not to confuse you, just think of a class as like what a reference type is. So when we make this, this doesn't actually exist. Like this is just like a uh, an abstraction for you to understand. This, this whole class is for you. This isn't really for the computer. This actually creates this class right here. So once you actually declare this class, like it's actually in your program. When you make a class, the class doesn't really exist. So once you use this new word right here, it's gonna go put this on the heap. It's going to actually create it. And you can actually see this happening. If you wanna see this like an actual action, that was a cool actual action. <laughs> it's, it's a cool little uh, word play on words I just did there didn't even mean to so I uh, int I it's just gonna like just watch this so I like the two's there like it's actually there when you go down to here uh gotta go to here you gotta put that console right line there so when you go here and you get these little curly brackets that means that this is not actually like this is like you just hover over this the two's there when you hover over this this isn't actually there and what's happening is it's stored by reference there's what's this actually is and if you, you could actually i think you can actually see this here let me see there's a way to uh turn this into a hexadecimal so what really is really happening is that this is a hexadecimal that points to an address in memory where this part is stored right here. So uh, hopefully that you know didn't confuse you too much and you got the picture between uh, what the difference between a value type and a reference type is. So in the context, we'll just go ahead and we'll do value first because value is a lot more simple to understand when talking about pass by value, pass by reference. Um, so let's just go ahead in here and we're going to initialize two variables. We'll say this one's five, int num two, and this one is 10. Then we can go ahead, let's console. 
right console right line this one then we'll, we'll do this one and the key point here is to watch what happens before this function executes that I'm about to write and after this function executes that I'm about to write and because we're in .NET 6 we have to uh, declare to um, top line statements and top line statements means that you're going to have to put your um, functions down here you can't put them above your where you're doing your declarations and your function execution so we'll just call this one we're going to square these I'm assuming that you know what what to square something means it means you're just going to multiply it by itself I can type this hold on one second I gotta move my microphone here there we go, it's a lot better. So int i, int a, int b. Then go down here and we're going to say a is equal to a times a. And then b is equal to b times b. Yep, and like I said, very simple. So we're going to, we have to go up here, we're going to create our function, and then we are going to pass in our two variables. Very simple. Um, two. And then we are going to go down here and we're going to console right line what we are passing in. And hopefully I can have a good visual representation of what's going on. So let's just go ahead here, go into our debugger. We're gonna go down, we're gonna declare our variables. Then we are going to do our console right line. Let's see what happens beforehand. So console right line is executed. Let's see what happens. So five, all right. And I need to put this because it does not look correct. So we go down, once again, we declare our variables. Let's see, our console right line is executed before our square part right here. And our variables are exactly the same. It's going to be a five and a 10. Now let's watch what happens when we actually step inside our square. So we step inside our square it's going to pass the actual value. So here's a really key point. When I was talking about value types and I mentioned that with value types, like the, the number is like the actual number. There's no reference being passed there. And that's really the whole entire key point of it. Like the actual value is going to be passed in and it's not tied or referenced. So what's going to happen. And if you don't even want to really understand like what's really going on, just realize that when you pass something in as a value type into a function, once the function executes, these numbers aren't actually going to be, these numbers aren't actually going to change because they're not connected to each other. Like if I just had to give you just like a really simple way to describe it, because it's a value type and the actual value is stored like in the actual place in memory, it's they're not going to be connected to each other. So when this thing steps out, if you watch it, so our it steps out, it does the calculation. What's gonna happen is that console, the variables on the outside aren't even going to change. So if you look at it, like I said, it does the calculation, it goes into the function and the variables on the outside aren't going to change because they're not actually referencing each other. So key point, value type, when some when something is passed into a function on the outside, the actual variable is not going to change. Like if, let me just, outside function variable is not, going to change not going to change so let's go ahead and 
let's do a reference type. So reference types are going to be, in theory, a little bit more complicated, but they're really not. The only reason they're more complicated is because usually you're dealing with more complicated data. So with this one, we will go ahead, we'll go down here and let's just go ahead and make our class. And we're just going to make a very simple person class. And this person class is going to have an int, they're going to have an age, Very simple, like the most simple class that you could possibly have. Then we're gonna go up here, we're gonna instantiate them. And then we're just gonna give them super simple, just instantiation. Like look, we won't make it complicated at all. Then we're going to create two of the objects and go ahead and console right line them. Or uh, let's actually, before we do that, it might be a better idea to actually assign some values to them so that we can see something actually change. Okay, then we have our age here. And we'll do a console.writeline. Console right line. Then let's make a square for our actual we're gonna go down here, we're gonna make an actual square function because we have to pass in you know, this function to something. And once again, make it very simple. So square, we're going to pass in our objects. And let's name this one actually a, just like I said, make things simple and not make things more confusing than they need to be. And we're gonna go in here, we're going to manipulate our age. Make sure that you just don't put an A right there because it's not going to actually manipulate any of the variables and it will give you an error. It's equal A dot age plus not plus, we're going to square a dot a dot age. Then we're going to go b dot age is equal to b dot age. Wow, look at that IntelliSense. IntelliSense is amazing. I love IntelliSense. Oh, good, then we're going to have our age, going to have that little space there. And we're gonna go down B dot age so that we can see what is going on inside of the function. And then for this one, we have to do our function. Right, P dot one. We're just gonna pass in our P dot two. And then we're gonna do one more console dot right line, like I said, so that we can see what's happening after the function is actually executed. P dot P one age plus. Put that space there for visual purposes, just to kind of make it look better. Then we go up here. Okay, great. And that doesn't look right. So I am going to just copy that into there. Okay. All right, let's step through that. That was actually that was actually relatively complicated. It's a lot of a lot of yeah, just with reference reference types uh, are just typically going to be more complicated because they're actually classes and there's just more stuff going on. So we go up here, we declare, we create our references, we go down, we assign um, values within our class. So, or uh, not within our class, within our object that was created by the class. So go down here, p.age. Okay, so this is probably the most important part. We go through here, Obviously our values are just going to be five and 10, just like before, but we haven't gone inside of our function yet. So let's step into our function. We go in here, it's going to go a dot age. Remember that this is um, by reference. So when this is actually 
when you actually go inside here, it's actually going to manipulate the values on the outside of the function. Just if you, those are probably the only thing. So when we pass by value type, the variables on the outside are not um, altered in any way. But when we pass by reference type, they are about variables outside are changed change manipulated whatever you want to call it. variables are changed on the outside if that's the only thing you you remember and you don't even want to watch the rest the rest of the video you could probably just get away with knowing that and they are going to ask you this kind of stuff on an interview so make sure that you remember pass by you know pass by value pa pass by reference so we go in here and the values are going to change they are going to be squared but key point, and just like I said, after we get out of this function, it's gonna go through here, it's going to print these values, and you can actually see the values. And those values are going to be uh, changed on the outside of the function. And that's pretty much all you're going to really need to know for pass by value and pass by reference. It's gonna get a little bit more complicated, and we're gonna to have to talk about reference, or ref, ref, uh, out and in but I'm gonna do those in a separate video because I'm kind of the time on this video is getting up there a little bit and I'm, I'm gonna save it for a separate video so that I can also target those keywords anyway that I hopefully that uh, didn't confuse you too much it is kind of like a little bit of a confusing subject if you guys like this video make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching